Good morning, LinkedIn. I hope you're very well. Um, today I wanted to talk about something which is quite close to my heart and something I'm very passionate about, and that is about helping leaders learn how to thrive and be high performing at the same time. And when I say thrive, I mean that they're happy, they're healthy, and that they have a balanced life. And I often come across leaders who say to me, I haven't got time to take care of myself. I can't stop to eat. Um, I go to bed really late. I get up really early. And they're not preserving the greatest asset that they have, which is themselves. And it reminded me of a book that I read many years ago that had a huge impact on me. And it was called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And it had seven habits in it. And habit seven was called Sharpening the Saw. And at the beginning of um, the chapter, it tells a tiny story which completely um, reflects what I try, the message that I try and share with leaders. And it's this. Suppose you were to come across somebody in the woods working feverishly to saw down a tree. What are you doing, you ask? Can't you see, comes the impatient reply. I'm sawing down this tree. Well, you look exhausted, you exclaim. How long have you been at it? Over five hours, he returns, and I'm beat. This is hard work. Well, why don't you take a break for a few minutes and sharpen that saw, you inquire. I'm sure it would go a lot faster. I don't have time to sharpen the saw, the man says emphatically. I'm too busy sawing. So I hear this a lot when I start working with people and they say, I have too much to do. I can't stop. I don't have time to eat. Um, and what they're forgetting is that by continuing to work and and pushing themselves, they're actually making their blades blunt. They're having to work twice, three times, four times as hard to achieve the same outcome. Whereas if they were just to stop and preserve the greatest asset that they have, which is themselves, take a break, eat, get some exercise, sleep properly, they would actually be so much more effective in the long run. And sometimes that takes a real shift in mindset for somebody to accept that stopping is okay and makes them more productive in the long run. So my very short message for you today is to ask you to look at yourself and ask yourself, are you soaring down your tree feverishly and not stopping? Or do you take the time to stop, sharpen the blades and keep going? Um, hopefully it's the latter. If it's not and you're struggling, then please feel free to get in touch and I can help. Um, and otherwise, have a fantastic day.